We've already told you how the likes of AIMIM, also the Samajwadi Party, have responded to these developments. Let's now talk about the latest reaction coming in from the DMK. DMK leader T.K. Selangovan has reacted to the proposed amendments. In fact, says BJP is against the Muslim community and is targeting one particular community, calling the Bharatiya Janata Party anti-Muslims. Listen in. See, there was no problem with the work properties. No, there was no issue at all. None, no, no, no. But whereas they don't want HR and C, but they want to strengthen uh, Wakf Act means then uh, they, they are against Muslims. What is the problem? So far, was there any problem with the Wakf, uh, Wakf uh, boards activities? No. But they just want to tell the people that we are against Muslims or Muslim property. It is only exposing them as to uh, the, their attitude towards one particular community in the country which fought for independence which was with the people of India they said no we are Indians we will not go with Pakistan so those Muslims were now affected by this government let me quickly go across to my colleague Purnima joining us with more details. Purnima, top government sources have been detailing, you know, every now and then that the uh, entire aim to bring in these changes, these reforms to the current Wakf Act is just to ensure that greater representation is given uh, to women in the boards, that, you know, across the Muslim community, including children, women, the downtrodden, all of them benefit from these properties. This seems to be a certain narrative that the opposition is speaking of. Were you able to get a sense of what the DMK leader, though, thought of the manner in which the central government wants to propose these changes in order to ensure verification, greater transparency and accountability as far as the process is concerned? Well, uh, while uh, while uh, uh, the details of that are not yet out, uh, the DMK and other opposition parties in the country continue to maintain that uh, it is uh, it is uh, against one particular uh, religion, and uh, it's not new that the BJP is uh, targeting the Muslims. Even though uh, uh, sources have said that uh, this is to ensure there is uh, women representation and also to benefit the the poorest of the poor in the Muslim community, and that's why. The amendments are being considered even before uh, the draft is out. Uh, the DMK and other opposition parties maintain that uh, uh, why is the uh, central government not uh, not looking at HRNC department? Why is it only uh, focusing on the Muslim community? That's the angle that the opposition parties, including the DMK, take. Even as uh, uh, the details and the, the the details of the uh, the amendments uh, details are not yet out, uh, opposition parties continue to maintain that the BJP is only targeting the Muslim community. Okay, many thanks Purnima for joining us with those details. Let's quickly shift our attention.